Hey everybody, Jesse from G28 CNC, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Bulkman 3D Ultimate B1515. So we are going to unbox the Bulkman 3D Ultimate B. Uh, this is the 1515. I went with the high torque gerbil option and the 1.5 kilowatt 110 volt water cooled spindle. Uh, this came in four boxes. We've got two long boxes with the extrusion and the lead screws and two boxes of hardware, you know, all the electronics, all the um, screws, nuts, T-nuts, angle brackets, end plates, um, the spindle, the controller, wiring, all of that in these two smaller boxes. This came in two shipments. Um, the two smaller boxes took a week to arrive. The two larger boxes took two weeks to arrive, which is pretty awesome uh, coming from China. All right, so let's start with the larger boxes. These aren't as fun and exciting. So uh, we'll get these out of the way and take a look at some of the other stuff that's in here. So the first thing I will say about uh, Bulkman is that their boxing is pretty awesome. <clears throat> You're gonna notice that everything is banded. You know, there's like straps across multiple locations to keep these from busting open. There's also a lot of foam in here. It's, it's packaged really nicely, so I'm not too worried. This is the second machine I've ordered from China from them. Uh, and I'm never worried that it's gonna come damaged. You are going to want to have your table ready to go when you start unboxing this, in my opinion. It's just going to make it easier for you. Yep, so it's got some shrink wrapping around this really significant foam. Extrusion is also uh, still in the protective plastic, which is cool. This box has some extrusion and the linear rails. Long box two. Again came in really good shape, um, it has straps going the whole length, you know, each one of these pieces of tape has a strap on it to keep the box together. I've had boxes come from China that are just totally destroyed, totally destroyed, so it's great to see that they took care with the box in here. So here's our ball screws in plastic, which is cool. All right, more extrusion in here. It's so funny, I'm trying to destroy this box. It's held together so nicely. Alright, so box one, again, it's got two bands going this way, two bands going that way, holding it together. This actually has some corner reinforcement on it in case, uh, you know, the carrier drops it on the corner, which is really cool. Actually, I'm just going to cut one of these off so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Yeah, so it's got the 
just a corner piece on it, a little bit of reinforcement. And it's got the fans going all across the whole thing. Bag of hardware. Oh, very cool. It looks like they actually changed the bolts so that they have um, socket caps, uh, like a deep socket cap. I know on the Queen B, some of those screws that they used, you had to be really delicate with them and not strip out the hex uh, socket on it. So that's great. Heavy. I'm going to guess this is the spindle. Yep. That's cool. Uh, Alright, so on the last one that I bought, I got the 2.2 kilowatt, and it was, it's awesome. It's really great having the ER20 collet but the spindle is super heavy and uh, it causes some sag. So on this one, because I'm spreading this over such a large distance, I didn't want it to sag when it was in the middle of the, uh, the gantry. So I went for this lighter motor. I'm not sure the total weight difference, but this is a lot smaller than the 2.2 kilowatts. So hopefully that makes a nice difference for us. We've got our ER11 uh, collets. This is a set from one up to, looks like seven millimeters in half millimeter increments and also an eighth and a quarter inch collet. Yep, so very cool. Last box here. This one doesn't have the corner reinforcement on it. I don't think that's a big deal. It was kind of just nice that the last one had it, but it still has two straps going this way, two straps going that way. This is taped everywhere. Yeah, every box comes with a lot of foam. That's cool. I appreciate it. All right, so some more hardware. It looks like maybe this is gonna use some of the same um, socket, little like button button cap screws that the, uh, the Queen Bee Pro used. So hopefully these hold up a little better than the last ones, those stripped out uh, kind of quickly the actual socket, the hex sockets stripped out. And that's, that's no fun when you're putting it together and you need to make like a little adjustment and, uh, and it's stripped and you can't. exciting because these did not come when I ordered my Queen Bee Pro. Uh, somehow they missed the uh, drag chains. So uh, I had to reach back out and request those. Uh, not a huge deal. You know, they got them out to me. It was cool. No problem. I just had to wait a little bit before I ran the cabling. Uh, 
you know, I mean, two weeks from China to get a 1500 by 1500 millimeter CNC with everything that you see here. Um, something that I don't see is a touch plate. Um, I think this might, I think this was supposed to come with a touch plate. I don't see it here. Maybe I missed it inside of one of these bags and boxes, but I don't see it here. So I'm not positive about that. All right, so we've got everything unboxed and unpacked now. Just gonna do a quick overview of what we've got. So here we've got two, four, six pieces of, of 2040 extrusion that I did not measure, but I'm assuming are 1500 millimeters long. We've got three um, 8040 C beams. So it's got the C shape. Uh, we've got a 4040 that is also 1500 millimeters. We've got a 2060 extrusion, and then we've got another 8040C, which is for the Z. We have all of our various end um, plates and our um, bearing blocks and our gantry plates. All right, all of our linear bearings. Um, these smaller ones, I believe last time I built the 7575, those were for the Z. And then we've got all of our larger bearings for the other axes. Here are all of our bearings for the ball screws and all of the mounting hardware all of the hardware that you need is going to come in these boxes and it's all labeled really well which is awesome every single bag has a sticker on it which tells exactly what's in it super cool it makes it easier watch me be lying nope it's labeled all right all of them are labeled um so that's it for mechanical stuff all around here. Then for electrical and um, otherwise, we have our spindle here, which also has the connector, which you're gonna solder your cables to and wire. The coolant line for the spindle, the power cable back there for the spindle, your VFD, our water pump for the water-cooled spindle. Then for drivers, we have our four NEMA 23s. We've got our motor drivers. These don't look quite the same as the ones that came with the Queen Bee Pro that I bought. Um, I mean, they look identical in function but they look i think the other ones had a a little bit different look to it i'll have to go pull through but i mean it's the same driver it's a tb 6600 4 amp um, with all of the stepping options on there pretty standard we have our limit switches our little breakout screw terminal shield for the Arduino Nano. We have our Arduino Nano. Uh, this is the hardware for the limit switches. We have our power supply. This should be a 24 volt. I know a lot of people went up to the uh, 36 volt. Yep, this is a 24 volt, 14.6 amp output. Um, I just stuck with the 24 volt on my Queen Bee. It's worked fine so far. I don't have any wood to knock on, but no problems yet. We've got an e-stop. Uh, then out in the back here, we've got uh, all of the motor cables back there. We have our 
if you're gonna have a control box, which I am gonna do, I'll do a separate video on that. Um, that is if you wanna jump wires to the inside of the control box. So that's pretty cool. Um, all of our drag chains. That drag chain is a lot larger than what came with the Queen Bee Pro. So this is the size drag chain that came with the Queen Bee. This is the little section I had left over, but uh, you know, size comparison, not the same, which, uh, which I'm cool with. We'll see how it works out. The Queen Bee, it was really hard to fit all of this because you needed to fit that two runs of that coolant line. You gotta fit all the motor cables. You gotta fit the spindle cable. You have to fit the limit switches, all of that inside of that on the Queen Bee. So I'm kind of looking forward to not having to fight and I can just put it in that big drag chain. So that's great. Uh, moving on, we have all of our linear rails packaged very nicely. I definitely appreciated it last time that they were in foam and they're oiled up. Uh, we have our package of the uh, bolt covers. So these just press into these holes once you get everything bolted in place to keep these from getting, uh, you know, chips of whatever you're cutting stuck inside of those. So that's in there. And we have all of our ball screws. These look great. I'm really excited. So on the Queen Bee, it doesn't have that really nice ball nut on there. On the Queen Bee, you thread it through a piece of Delrin that gets uh, bolted on. And if you don't do it just right, there's some backlash, which I'm, uh, I didn't have a problem with. I read a lot of people have that problem with the with the, the little Delrin uh, insert thing, but um, either way, I'm psyched about these. This looks great. Pumped to uh, see how that works out. Uh, yeah, so that's it. It's everything laid out here that you're gonna get when you order um, any of the Ultimate Bees from Bulkman 3D. Very cool. So I should mention that you are gonna need to buy some things to put this together. Um, two guaranteed things you're gonna need are a um, power cable for the VFD and a power cable for the power supply. Um, I did them separate. I know some people tied them together. Uh, I guess you could do that. I liked having them on two different uh, outlets and breakers uh, so you don't have the chance of uh, tripping a, a breaker from one or the other of these running at the same time. Um, so definitely gonna need at least two power cables for these. Um, if you're gonna build an enclosure, you're gonna need an enclosure uh, and any other um, screw terminals, auxiliary accessories that are going to go with that. So uh, I am going to do a separate video, like I said, on the electronics build, where I'm going to make that whole enclosure. I'm going to tie it, um, you know, the gerbil uh, relay that actually fires the VFD on um, both Turn, turning it on, enabling it, and controlling the, uh, the speed. So that'll all be in the same video. All right, very cool, very exciting. I recommend this. I, th I mean, it's the best bang for your buck that you're gonna get. Thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to subscribe and like, it helps out a ton. And make sure you get those notifications so you can check out the series of build videos on this machine.